Um, so Sydney Water is Australia's largest water utility. It's also in the top 10 largest water utilities in the world. Um, so every day we supply about 1.5 billion litres of drinking water to over 5.3 million people in their homes and businesses. Uh, we supply water, wastewater, recycled water, and some stormwater services across Greater Sydney and the Illawarra. Uh, so in terms of assets, this is across 22,600 kilometres of pipes, which is more than halfway around the world, uh, 247 reservoirs, 152 drinking water pumping stations, 30 wastewater treatment plants, nine water filtration, filtration plants, uh, one desalination plant, and also the natural land and water assets, um, so wetlands, creeks, naturalised channels, and native bushlands. Uh, so the Sydney Water approach to digital engineering, um, so is across delivery, um, so we have a partnering for success program. So that's partnering with a planning partner and also a regional delivery of consortia. Um, so that's used for shared purchasing and also some of the larger scale major projects. Um, from an organisational point of view, um, we have an enterprise level digital twin project, which is underway. Um, so looking at the full life cycle. Um, from a water industry perspective, uh, we've got the alignment across water services, Association of Australia, BIM for Water, the International um, Smart Water Network, SWAN, um, across the Australian Water Association. Um, from a government perspective, um, the key alignment I'm looking at from Transport for New South Wales, Planning and Environment, New South Wales Spatial Services, and also Telco Authority. Um, so the coming digital twin projects and the implementation um, connecting into those key projects as they come online. Um, from an industry and digital construction perspective, uh, Building Smart, uh, NAT spec specifications, uh, NBS, and also the Smart Cities Council um, in regards to the digital twin hub and also the digital twin task force. In terms of creating smart digital assets, um, so looking at it from a physical aspect, asset, um, as you can see down the line down the below, and then the above, which is the digital asset. Um, so starting at that smart digital delivery in regards to BIM at that planning stage when the early site investigation is occurring, um, a preliminary design um, BIM model is created that then moves on to the design stage and enabling works on site. Um, where a detailed design information model is built up um, before moving on to the build stage. So when the built asset then gets created into an as-built as information BIM model, you've got the site verification and validation process before it gets handed over as an asset data handover. Um, and then you've got the remote monitoring from the smart facility level. Um, so looking at that through performance, insights, predictive maintenance, um, and the connection of the SCADA and relevant IoT devices. Um, so you're looking at that, the visualization, the analysis, and also the systems integration at that, that key facility level. Um, at the network level, from a smart network perspective, uh, the performance and insights, predictive maintenance, and optimized operations that come from that, um, and the connection of ICATs um, and other IoT devices. Um, in regards to modeling, simulation, and analysis. Um, so the data from that is then used for business intelligence, data-driven decisions, and data-driven strategy. In terms of uh, Sydney Water's digital twin definition, um, so it's a virtual representation of both our physical, natural, and built assets, and the systems that is used to deliver business value and improve life cycle performance with informed insights uh, to enhance the experience for the benefit of our people, customers, the environment, and the city. Um, and from a physical asset um, as water infrastructure to the digital space, um, so the connecting in of engineering data sets, asset data sets, operations, and also third party from other government organizations um, combined um, um, through the integration and aggregation of a lot of different data sets for value that comes out from optimized operations, um, the maintenance uh, planning, and also from a strategic point of view, um, different growth areas of the city. Um, so this is used um, into a centralized 360 asset view, um, so used for simulations and then predictions across the network. The alignment in terms of uh, the overall sort of company strategy from a strategic perspective, um, so we're looking at um, this from a digital transformation lens as a digital twin. Um, so having a first choice of customers and partners, a high performing culture, a successful and innovative business, um, so the thriving, livable and sustainable cities. Um, so setting that key um, digital foundation, um, driving that secure collaboration across the entire life cycle, 
um, a digital organization for better outcomes, um, and then that asset lifecycle optimization part um, where the insight-led decisions are coming from that. Um, and then also from a people, assets, and customers point of view, where there's benefits that can then be pushed onto um, the larger community. Um, and from a future-ready um, workforce in terms of augmented ways of working in that future state. Key foundational focus areas. So we've got the three key initial um, areas. So we've got better asset information management, which is the connection of a lot of disparate data sets currently. Um, so, uh, so currently sort of the integration across those, uh, GIS, 3D topography, asset information from Maximo and relevant um, operations, um, 3D scan and point cloud information, SCADA, ICATS and IoT devices, uh, photogrammetry and 360 photos, as well as scan to BIM information. Um, they're moving on to a capital planning perspective, the historic data, relevant compliance approvals, um, the New South Wales Department of Environment and Council um, data sets, as well as Bureau of Meteorology data from a weather perspective, and the New South Wales Spatial Digital Twin, which with a focus in the growth area of Western Sydney. Um, and in regards to operations and maintenance, um, the relevant CCTV footage and point clouds that might come from, say, um, capturing within pipes um, within the network in some of the older areas of the network um, with robots, um, GIS and 3D scan to BIM for operations, augmented operations with augmented reality um, across safety and training. The other ones looking at customer experience, so relevant customer information data sets being connected in. Um, water usage identifier, um, so customers are able to identify, but also strategic decisions can be made um, from a leaks management po uh, perspective, as well as water consumption. Um, and then the digitization and smart cities component where an entire network flood model um, in regards to predictions and other models. Um, so across flood impacts, water quality, energy sustainability, and also the circularity. Um, and the integration of all IoT devices across the network, including smart meters um, and the network models as well, with a better ability for the city to adapt to change um, as a smart city. Um, so just as a quick look, um, so this was, um, as, in terms of the five focus areas, we've had 141 uh, use cases um, that we've sort of got in terms of pipeline, in terms of future roadmap, but this is just a look at um, showcasing how Digital Twin creates an interactive centralized hub for our facility and asset information, and it provides that foundation for our Digital Twin across the entire city. Um, so the connection of those data sets um, and, and relevant alignment across uh, other programs of work currently underway, uh, data and analytics frameworks, spatial futures and IoT programs of work, um, and also looking at the um, key foundational area in terms of um, the digitization across the entire network. Um, so across the different treatment plants, you can see as, as an example there with the roadmap, which is um, currently underway um, across that. Um, so in terms of that um, alignment piece as well, um, the, the different um, uh, connected asset data and relevant um, model capture and drone footage as well. Um, and then just as an example, in terms of setting that key sort of foundation piece um, from a digital transformation lens as well, connecting in and aggregating all those different data sources for the value that then comes out of that. Um, so we've got just a, just a sample break up in terms of the analytics, the data managed components, um, and also the different user experiences that is then used um, um, to create that value across the network.